Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do a comparison uh, with the equality operator. I talked about the equality operator um, in the last tutorial. I did a little function re related to that. But in this one, there are many comparison operators in JavaScript. Um, all of these operators return a Boolean true or false. Okay, so the um, comparison operators are going to be like equals. They're going to be like this is greater to or this is less than. So like one is great. Uh, we could say console.log uh, two is greater than one. Um, and this should return true, you see? So because these are called comparison operators, if we were to make this two is less than one, it becomes false. Two is less than like string. This is gonna be false. It, yeah, anyways, this is a comparison operator. So what it does is it compares this value to this value. Um, comparatively. And so that's what they're saying. These are comparison operators, so all the other uh, all these operators return a boolean of true or false. The most basic operator is the equality operator. So we could say console.log2 is equal to 2 and then the result from this will be true. The equality operator compares 2 and returns true if they're equivalent and false if they're not. So if it's 2 is equal to 3, this is going to become false. Uh, note that equality is different from assignment so equals is, you know, is different than this one. See, this is a syntax error because two can't be equal to three, but two, it, then if we add it double to equals, is two the same as three? Then it just says, no, it's not the same. Uh, if, okay, so this one's saying equality val, if my val is equal to 10, return equal, else return equal equality test. So this equality test would say is the, value passed in the same as 10. Is it 10? If not, then say not equal. Uh, so the code in the curly brackets will execute the function, will return equal, otherwise it will say not equal. In order for JavaScript to compare two different data types, for example, numbers and strings, it must, be con it must convert one type to another. This is known as type coercion coercion. Uh, once it does, however, it can compare terms as the following. So let's just do this in our, in our practice as well. It says one is equal to one. That's true. One is equal to true or two. That becomes false. One is equal to the string of one. This is true. That's interesting. So it's able to convert the number one, the integer, to the string of one. And uh, it looks like it can do it for the same thing. If we were to do three, three is equal to three, this becomes true as well. So what it wants us to do is add the equality operator to the indicated line so that the function will return equal when val is equivalent to 12. Okay, so what we're looking for here is they're saying we want to say if test val, if val is equal to 12, then it wants to return equal. So this should pass the test. A better way to say this is to name this function effectively. Say, um, instead of saying test eval, you can say is value equal to 12. That's how I would name this function because then it would be clear it's kind of a dumb function to say because you could just do an equality operator, but l loading it into a function makes sense. This would make more sense than just calling this test equal. If I wrote this, I would have said, I would have done it that way. But um, yeah, this is really valuable stuff. I hope you guys found this useful and we'll see you in the next lesson.